G'day, we're here at the School Sport Australia Rugby League 12 Years and Under Championships and this is a fantastic venue and I'm, I'm with Ryan Walker. Ryan Walker works for NRL Victoria and I'm going to let Ryan just talk a little bit about what he does. Yeah, thanks Sarah. So yeah, I'm the um, Pathways and Coaching Manager with NRL Victoria so my role is to oversee all the Pathway programs um, and that, the under 12s, that was the first uh, representative team that we do have obviously with School Sport Victoria so um, my role is just to help over the week and um, obviously assist them with the training sessions and basically to upskill our um, school teacher coaches which is uh, one of the main aims that we want to try and do is to promote those school teachers in the rugby league coaching. Now, it's a great atmosphere here today, would you agree? Yeah, it's outstanding. Our, our, our Victorian uh, team had a, a great um, game today, even though they lost 20 to nil against Queensland, a traditional rugby league state, and the crowd was going uh, berserk for our uh, team, even though it was a 20 point loss. So it's been fantastic. A lot of the states are here. The, the weather's actually dried up today. It's been uh, wet and cold the last couple of days, and uh, the sun's come out today, so it's been really good. Now, as Game Development Officer of NRL, tell us a little bit about what's happening in the land of rugby league out there. Yeah, so we're in Victoria, we're, we're going up and um, above a lot of the other states in regards to our participation numbers and I think it's a lot to do with our relationship with School Sport Victoria, NRL Victoria, the Melbourne Storm working together and also our NRL Game Development Officers. So they go out to schools every day in all their areas and uh, try and promote the game and then off the back of that, um, NRL Victoria in the club lands and our numbers are they're going through the roof which is outstanding. Right, give us some just some figures in regard to what you've seen, what trends you've seen over the last 12 months to 24 months. Yeah, so well across the, across the country and uh, club participation numbers Victoria as a state have been one of the only states that have gone up um, percentage wise so probably nearly 3 or 4% um, over the last couple of years it jumped in probably 4 or 5% a couple of years ago so we're going up which is, we're against the, the national trend unfortunately being going a de- little bit down and I think those numbers are as a result of the, the great work our development officers are doing in the schools um, all the game development officers go out the gala days the school clinics and um, that means the more numbers the numbers have been going up in the gala days which means there's more kids playing in school which means we're trying to get that transition into our clubs, our club numbers are going up and, and then from my point of view it helps our high performance programs because the more players we've got playing at a younger level it means we've got more players coming filtering through to our representative teams as well. Which is fantastic, we just love partnering with you, um, we love the teacher PDs that you do, the gala days that you've talked about. Um, what would you say has been um, one of the greatest successes of NRL Victoria in regard to schools right now? Um, well, I just think I just think the numbers that we're getting, like it, we're, and probably the best thing about we, that we like to promote is that all of our gala days and school clinics um, are basically 50 to 50 in females and male participation, and against the other country, um, other states, like we're, we're probably leading the way with that. Where every gala day we have that the developers run, there's always 50 percent of females playing the game with a tackle or tag, um, and then the the boys are playing as well. So through that, it's been allowing like, um, for the for the first time in a long time we have a um, a girl under 12 is playing in our state team, which is just a, a transition from that. She played in the Billy Sater Shield Gala Days over the last couple of years at Hampton Park Primary School, filtered through to now into our state team, which is a fantastic achievement. Which is so good, and we, we just love the pathways. What would you say to any teachers out there that are listening that want to increase participation regarding rugby league in their school? What would you say to them? Well, probably the first thing they, that is obviously that awareness that rugby league is actually a tier one sport within School Sport Victoria, and, and that relationship's built over the last few years. and the fact that um, our development officers, they're, they're willing to go out to schools all the time. So for a teacher that's interested in rugby league, probably to understand the first thing that um, all the games from 15 years and under play under the National Safe Play Code and all of our school-based rugby leagues played under the Safe Play Code. So what you see on TV when the NRL, when the Melbourne Storm play State of Origin, that actually doesn't happen in our local school games. So it's a very safe game to play. The tackles are below the armpits, they don't lift the legs, things like that which allow kids to have a more fun time. Um, so I would reckon just contact the, your local game development officer in your area. We've got six development officers all across Melbourne and one in Mildura, so seven across Victoria. Um, and then also um, myself, part of my role as the Pathways and Coaching Manager is to run um, teacher PDs and, and coaching courses. Um, we're running one here um, on, during the week here, um, tomorrow actually, oh Thursday, sorry. So those are the kind of things we want to try and do is um, get the teachers come in, upskill them so they feel comfortable to teach rugby league within their um, primary schools and high schools. So there you have it folks, School Sport Victoria partnership with NRL is growing the sport and we really love the fact that that's happening. So have a look at the links uh, that are on the video screen right now or in the post and be in contact with these guys because they run a great teacher PD and any development and any participation increase comes from these guys is fantastic.